Hello everyone, let's continue this playlist in which we are going to write the Python program for the given practical list. Here is the syllabus for the session 24-25. Look at the practical list. In the previous video, we have already written the program for the first one. Now let's read the second instruction. Input two numbers and display the larger or smaller number. When we read the instruction, we could notice the word larger or smaller. It's a comparative degree means we have to compare two things. And here we will be comparing two numbers. Before jumping to any idea and start writing the program, let's understand the concept. So here are the steps to be followed. To compare two numbers, first of all, we need to input them. Let's call it number one and number two. In this way, we got input. Now it's time to compare these two numbers. To compare, we will be using comparisons operator or we can call it as a relational operators too. After comparing, we need to take some action. So we will be using conditional statement if. So here is the statement. If number one is greater than number two, we will be printing the message number one is greater. This message will be printed when the condition is true. Then what about the false part? For that we will be writing else part. If number 1 is not greater than number 2, ultimately number 2 will be greater. In this way we understood the logic, now it's time to write the program. In this video to write python program, I am using VS code. Whichever IDE you want to use, you can go ahead with it. It's time to code, let's take first number. For that I am using input function. Here is the prompt, enter first number. By default, input function takes input in the form of string. So we need to convert it to integer using int function. In the same way, we will be taking second number. Let's change the variable name to number 2 and the message also. Now it's time to compare these two numbers. If number 1 is greater than number 2, then we will be printing the message accordingly. Let's write the variable number 1 and then the message number 1 is greater. So with this if statement if number 1 is greater than number 2 we will get the message accordingly. But what if number 1 is not greater? In that case we will be writing the else part. If number 1 is not greater we know number 2 will be greater. So write the message accordingly number 2 will be greater. Now it's time to check out the output. Let's enter the first number. And here is the second number. We could see here that 10 is greater. So accordingly we are getting the message 10 is greater. Now let's run it once again. This time we will be entering the second number as a bigger number. First number I am entering 50 and the second number will be 100. Look at the output. We are getting 100 is greater. So in this way we have written the program where we are getting the greater number. Look at the instruction. We got the larger number. In the same way, we can go ahead for the smaller number too. How we will be doing that? Let's check out. In the same program, we can write that code too. Let's copy the same code and comment it. I am gonna paste the code here. Now we need to find out the smaller number. To find smaller number, only one change we need to do that we will be changing this greater than relational operator to smaller than relational operator. Now it will check whether the number 1 is smaller than number 2. It means we will be getting the smaller number. So let's change the message to. If number 1 is not smaller, then the number 2 will be smaller. Here also we need to change the message. It's time to execute the code and check the output. Let's enter some random number. The first number is 20 and the second number I am going to enter is 40. Look at the output, we are getting the smaller number. Here 20 is smaller. Let's run the program once again and input the second number as a smaller number. The first number I have entered 100. Now the second number will be smaller than that. And hey, look at the output. We got the expected output. 50 is smaller. In this way, we have written the code for both the instructions. We could get the greater number as well as the smaller number. Hope you understood the concept and the code too. Hey, that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your classmates. 
In the next video, we will be writing code for the third instructions in which you need to input three numbers and find the largest or smallest number among three. So thanks for watching. Until next time, stay curious, stay healthy. I will see you in the next video.